Record video. Yo, yo. What is up? Festival Fridays. Had to do this episode. It's been too long. It's been too long. How long has it been? I don't know exactly, but it's been too long. Too long, but we back with Festival Fridays. Um, nice to see y'all. It's Kenyo. Um, how's it going? How's it going? We live, but also we recording. So we live and we're recording. You know, today I wanted to do this this first episode about something that's the hugest thing I do, which is my art. I'm an artist, y'all. I am an artist. And so today's episode, yeah, you can see me out here playing games. Because games are dope. But also I'm an artist. Um, on Twitch, anyway. For as long as Twitch is good, because... Who knows? We might move over to we might move over to, to StreamYard. We might move over to Kick. I don't know. I don't know where we'll end up. But right now we're we're on Twitch for the for the shows anywhere. Go live with Kenyo. But anyway, um, yeah. So I'm an artist, and so we're gonna dive into my art today, uh, especially the website America-N.Art, where it's basically full access to everything that I'm doing in my art universe. So I I wanted you to just use this episode to take y'all all the way through down here of course y'all see an ad you can close the ads I got ads on the site that helps uh, you know fun fun the stuff too so you just go into the website you just checking the website out is supporting the art and the business helping me make more paintings um, help me do more art related stuff help me do more everything so definitely go to the website no matter what America n dot art go check it out vibe with it but I've added a lot of new stuff uh, I want you to check it out so let's see where we, let, let's just start from the top over here we got teal bench so teal bench underneath American because it's a you see right here American American Arts Academy that's the name of the whole thing and uh, you know where that name came from before we get into teal bench is uh, a line of paintings that I did um, you know I should actually have those on here but I did in um, a few years back um, and I, I did four paintings that really started this project up and they were all interpretations of the American flag and then where I got the end from um, is sort of representing individuality so it's like yeah we're all Americans you know what I mean <laughs> that's the idea anyway so anyway so teal bench is the main um, art creation. There's, there's four main parts to American and Teal Bench is the most basic part of that. So I can click that. That'll take you to the Teal Bench page. So Teal Bench is just all about making art. Just making art. Whether it's canvas art, paintings, digital arts. Um, we do commissions. We got classes. Uh, you see that link if you want to do a, um, I do a, um, I, I want to do I need more people who want to be involved I want to do regular online painting sessions where we can all paint together um, so that's what where the classes will take you takes you over to the patreon and I'm doing that through patreon so a lot of this I'm doing through patreon um, but you can also figure out where to get teal bench art so if you want digital art um, downloads this also takes you to the patreon because that's where I'm giving out that's where the the shop is for the digital art downloads where I'm building that up mostly uh, you can go to Sachi art Sachi uh, is a great art creation website and I, I have uploaded a lot of art to there so I have a huge collection we go check that out real quick it's not gonna hurt us to go check it out um, so I have a lot of, uh, you can get a lot of prints. Some of them I put prices for the actual painting. If you wanted, let's say, the physical original, like one, it's not going to be original because these are digital, but if you wanted what I'll call the physical original or the one physical piece. So for each of these, there could be a corresponding single piece. Um, with most of them, I don't put that price. It just has the price for the prints. Um and I only have really this series on here so this is a series of digital paintings that I was doing um, and I have those on here but you can get the prints from them and they have really good options for prints that's why I went with them so one fine art paper you know what I'm saying get the 12 you can get the 12 by 15 inch of any of these for 70 bucks I think that's that's not bad to get a really high quality and then if you're doing it you might as well go ahead and get that framed version they even show you what it's going to look like above your desk. That's fleeky. That's fly. That's that's cool. I know you want that. So anyway, it's available. 
um, and then um, some some of my physical paintings I'm also selling through um, Mercari on Laddington Vending, which is a, a, a just a way of just selling uh, individual merchandise. So you see, sold um, more towards the end of last year. I was selling some on here, sold, sold, sold. But there's some other ones that are on here um, that are original, and I'm gonna add more on here. Um, so Larry Tin so it just lets you know here on Teal Bench and then Citadel Art. That is really where you want to go for physical. Soon I'm gonna go on here and have all my paintings on here but there's certain ones that are only on here right now um, some of these are definitely you know not in stock anymore that's why I said sold out because either I, with these ones this, this is a line of really small paintings I did and most of those I think I either sent out to people or I don't even know where they're at well I saw one the other day but anyway how's my those are out of stock but this one is in here this is like an 8 by 10 these three are all I think all 8 by 10s this is one of my favorite ones dancers which is actually you can't see it but it's actually hanging right next to me right now but um yeah this is acrylic on canvas 16 inch by 24 inch uh, acrylic on canvas really nice paintings this one's hanging around me too so these are the ones that I have actively physical paintings that I have actively on display and I plan to do more physical ones but I've been moving into digital paintings because honestly I think it also saves resources I think it's it's good for the environment um, but yeah so that's that's everything you can get from teal bench um yeah let me refresh it I don't know why it's looking Ooh. okay anyway so let's get back to um, the main page so that's everything you can get from teal bench on the front page you just got my blog so you can see all the latest stuff I've been doing um you know you can catch the latest paintings I've been doing so this is uh, the current thing I'm doing right now is this inception series which this shows you um, the three latest ones I've made so I'm really focusing on these concepts of one high luxury but then if you see the white borders around them what that allows for in digital mediums because uh, most websites have a white background so if you were to put that on a website it almost looks like the painting just starts on the inside it looks really interesting like it kind of trips your mind out that's why I called it inception um, but you see there's diamonds on there gold and then I'm using the black as this strong contrast contrast but also a very deep black also I think convert uh, translates a real sense of luxury as well I think that's why we have black interiors and cars and stuff like that because it's just like that sleek black Ooh, it's pretty luxurious sleek black is almost as good as gold in some cases um because it kind of makes more sense but um yeah so let's see what else can i show you about this website so i got the paint together live that's where um again that takes you to patreon where i'm managing that and so if you get if you want to paint together live twice a month it's basically like kind of like a class but really me just painting with a group of people going back and we talk about the different things that make abstract art interesting um, different strategies for abstract art while we paint together and I wanted to make it that we're painting together because like well, the main thing about being artist an artist an artist is producing works of art um, which sounds like a no-brainer but you know and so anyway next links I got on this side panel here of course that goes to just patreon where you can find a few of the things we just discussed and you can you can get the digital art this membership the twenty dollar membership gives you unlimited digital art this one gives you the painting class or you could just be a supporter and you get certain behind the scenes posts that you can see um, but then you also get access to the post so it's like, like for instance this one right here this is those those paintings I showed you um, on the front page right but it's like if you're not a member you can really just see this you know what I mean so it's like um, but you can still see the paintings but like if you want to download them each and they're in crazy high definition then that's what you get with the twenty dollar a month membership so it's like for people who want and you can do all kinds of things with that you can put on your phone wallpaper is the best use I think um, wallpaper for your for your computer too and yeah it won't fit perfectly in dimensions I mean you could make it fit or you can blow it up but either way the cross section of it is gonna look dope as your wallpaper and it's very high definition 
and then you can also just join for free the main thing on patreon join for free and you can just check out our posts like this when I upload new stuff different other stuff I'm working on I'll put it here first little clips videos I'm really gonna be posting more on here than than other places so it's like yeah if you want to see some of the little media that I'm making on behind the scenes of the art process and everything like that jump on in jump on in um, so all right, let's keep going. So other links. So American art is not just me. So I'm also trying to build a team of artists. That's why if you go to the artist thing right here, you'll see um, right now it's not just me. I got one other artist so far, Jonathan Michael Espinoza, um, that I'm working with to try to, sh to to put him on. Oh, I also interviewed him in Houston. So we got a whole video you can go check out and watch on his page. Uh, where I interviewed him. Interviewed a few other people too. Mike went out for a second. He's a very cool artist, very active in Houston, doing a lot of events, very active in Texas, really, because he's he doesn't stay just in Houston. Um, but he's a very talented artist, very talented artist, very talented, very talented, very talented. Um, but yeah, I plan to work with more artists too. So that's why on the artist page, you can keep checking checking that out. See what artists we end up working with. Shop. That's going to take you to the Citadel um, shop on, on Kenyo.org. So that's we saw that before. Um, Teal Bench again. That's the part of the business that focuses on making art. Look into my eyes. Focuses on creating galleries, which galleries are op opportunities for people to interact with art. You know, um, especially on a local level. So I have a few di different dig and collections. A few digital um, art galleries. You can check out Weffin Gallery, where I have this one of the digital digital art projects that I was working on. Um, uh, concepts where that was really just shapes um, but it was also me learning more about digital art here's another one early one where I was really um, very simple stuff so some digital art I was making really playing with some concepts obviously just the black and white and the super simplicity of that medium and then the Crystal City Gallery um, since most of my work is in Crystal City to an extent, I mean that's where I physically have my business located. Even though, of course, I consider myself a national global artist, um, but um, physically, you know, everything's re registered down to Crystal City, which is a super small city in Texas. Um, um, but that's the that's where physical art is located. So that's why. So it's really about. Uh, and I want to add definitely galleries in different cities, uh, and that might be through partnerships with different shops, me doing pop-ups, different things. Um, but looking to my eyes is all about creating that gallery experience. Um, so definitely check back here if you're someone who likes to go to galleries, because eventually we might have a few galleries near you. So keep checking on there. The about page that you know down here lets you know more about the different operations of American. So we got Teal Bench. That's art, art, um, art collection. It's an art collection, but signature art um, by me or, or different artists, mostly by me for now. Um, we got Stasic, um, which is art technology platform. So Stasic is just everything that I use. It's one of the behind the scenes companies of American, where it's all about okay, what br brushes are we using? What paints are we using? What mediums? What are the different technologies that we use um, in order to create art? And, and always exploring that, always getting into that, understanding what is popular, what is useful, what is technologically advanced, getting into art. That's what Stasic is all about. Look into my eyes. I already talked about that. That's about galleries you know look into my eyes is all about galleries and then coffee is all about distribution of art so what is the best medium how do we get art out there which is what this website is also based off of because it's like okay that's that's making an experience that people can navigate that they can go through but they can also get to the links they need um, so coffee is all about researching um, people's ability to, to share art and explore art um, and even for it says even for collectors and stakeholders so they can manage their art what do we got going on whoa fury came through mid episode mid episode to say what's up 
and to drop let me see let me see and to drop two subs thank you so much fury shout out shout it held uh, I'm just going over going over American uh, I think I'm almost done though so you can book free consultations um, so that's if you want to talk about anything art related any art that you want anything art related you can book a consultation if you want like a custom piece different things like that where you need to talk to someone you know uh, from the company obviously you know which is gonna be me you can book a consultation with me for free and then uh, you can subscribe that goes back to um, American Art Academy through patreon and then upload your receipt is something I added to where for for people who have bought physical you have to have a Google account for that because it goes to a Google form if you've bought uh, a physical piece of art from me you can upload your receipt and that way using coffee I want I want to build um, or I can add a sort of digital ownership for you so it's like basically you get your own custom Google Drive link um, and um, and so we know okay this person this member owns these owns these paintings from us and we'll, and we'll give you like tips on how to maintain paintings just different ways to interact with people who um, own uh, own an artwork because we're I'm very much interested in how my artwork is living um, in other people's homes which you don't often get a lot of data once someone buys a once once someone buys a piece of art you don't often get to talk to them that much about it um, so yeah that's that's basically it you know you can go back to the main blog and check out different posts on American of of um, of different paintings we've done and where I'm always adding new stuff to the blog um, but yeah the only thing I didn't show you was where was it home modules so through home modules um, which is a, a, a company that builds platforms that I, I also do there's digital access to American so there's all types of different um, files that you can see um, and access you can access the original American PDF which explains what the American project is all about what American Arts Academy is all about um, you can so this is one of the signature series uh, this is the first ever painting that I did as part of this concept American you know and it's really sort of to express how the individuality and even the blue flowing through into the red and the and the and the white you know and then the red coming over here there's a there's a few things I get into that blue signifying you know serenity and peace and, and, and calmness and then of course you know blood maybe splattered on the states there's, there's a lot of different things just really getting to the evocative nature of what it means to be an American and, and an American individual because that's what I am um, but yeah yeah um but that's basically it that's basically it um so yeah that that's it that's it that's it so if you want to check out more um head over to american definitely do that you can see it right here a m e r i c a dash n dot art um dot com get over there and discover the stuff but i'm going to end the video here but keep checking Festival Fridays for more because Festival Fridays is not done yet.